I didn't actually know where Okunomiya Elementary was exactly. But Satsuka's phone call seemed to demand urgency, so I rushed out without asking her about how to get there. But if I went to the station, there would be signs. At least I feel like what she that's what she said. She did. Then I heard the jingling of a bicycle bell from behind me. Oh, it's Rika. Hello there. Hey, Rika. <laughs> Keiji, you came quickly. You put the pedal to the metal. Damn. This isn't the time to be out of breath. I need to hurry. Sorry. Where's Okunomiya Elementary? I'll show you the way. Come along with me. Rika rode off on her bike. I followed her. Satoko Salt suddenly called me out of out here, but what on earth is going on anyway? At first we had the advantage. However, they called in a helper. It's bad manners. A helper? What well, cowards calling for reinforcements the last minute they realized they'd lose? They're ta taking everyone out one by one. We can't put a dent in them. Go. Sounds like they were pretty strong. No, this is all bullshit. It's gonna be something stupid. And if it was something stupid, I would just leave. Like, immediately just leave. Anyway, I'll ask about it later. We don't have time, right? Please hurry. Leave it to me. With Rika leading the way, we headed straight for the elementary school grounds. I asked Rika something during that time. Seeing that all the club members besides me were part of this fight. Damn, so what Mian was trying to tell everyone was that this would happen. If I had known that, I would have just ditched my family job. But it was too late for regrets. According to Rika, we had a one-sided advantage at the start, but our angry foes had brought in a powerful ally. The club members put up a resistance and went against them one by one, but apparently they couldn't stand up to them. The combined efforts of the whole club couldn't win. Just, just what kind of monster is this guy? He's amazing. His enemy is orthodox. Orthodox. So they aren't using thuggish brawling tactics, but had actually studied karate or something. Is that what she meant? Keiji is our last ray of hope now. Okunomiya Elementary came into view. I could hear many voice, voices raising hell over there. Whoa! Mion! Rena! Satoko! I'll be there soon! I'll crush them all at once. Yeah, you're gonna make an idiot out of yourself, I feel. There are a lot of bicycles out in front of the school. I left mine there, there next to them in the same way. I could tell there were a lot of people flooding the campus. Were the two armies in the midst of a huge no-holds-barred brawl? I took my golf club in hand. Whoosh, I swung it. I felt the sensation of it smacking firmly into my palm. Great. The feedback wasn't bad. I'm gonna go all out with this thing. I dashed out at a breakneck speed to the school gate, swinging it around. Come with me, Rika. I'll show you what the mighty manly warrior Keiji Mayabara can really do. Wow, Keiji, you're so reliable. You're gonna be do a ra going to <laughs> you're going to rampage with the golf club. Rika applauded me with through a little dryly laughing, louding my va valiance. God damn it. Rika applauded me through a, a little dryly louding, louding my valiance. Lauding? Louding? Something like that. The manly Keiichi Mayabara put it behind him and headed to the place where he may die. But Keiichi, why did you bring a golf club today? I had no choice. First I figured a baseball bat would have been good, but we don't have one at my house. Golf club was far better than going barehanded, so I brought one. How very excellent. I'll give you a pat on the head. I can't wait to see your golf club rampage. He is stupid, honestly. I mean, there's something stupid that's going to happen, and he's going to look like a total jackass. Because Rika only pats people's heads when they've done something stupid. And she's already getting ready to pat his head. Or at least is patting his head now. Despite the emergency situation, Rika reached up and stroked me on the head. Hey, this is no time for jokes. Huh? Crack. Just then an extremely loud metallic sound rang out and I heard many people cheering. 
That's fucking baseball. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I would turn around and leave. As straight up people playing baseball. Like, I would legitimately walk up, punch Sato and just leave and say, fuck you. Mio, had you called me, it would have been fine. Fuck Sato. Left. Ah, we missed. Run! You can get to the second base. Go! Center. Calm down. Send it to third. The center fielder caught the ball and, after a brief pause, sent it flying to third base. If he had pitched it wildly, it might get there. He gave up on second and threw to third with time to spare. The instructions from the bench, they were solid. Wait, what? Oh, Gagey's here! Satoko, Satoko, Gagey's here! You're late, you're late, late, late! Loafing around is only one, it's only okay when you do it at the bread shop. Go oh, fuck off with your puns. Oh shit, what the fuck? Who are you? Who the hell are you? This is my Abara kid. Will you really save us? We're up against the ace of o uh, Osama, left arm Kameda Kun. He can. Oh, God damn it, what? what's with all these fucking names? Shit. He can beat a Koshian class pitcher. He must be a god. It's okay. I'm sure that Keiichi can turn the tables. He's a really dependable person. Murmur. What? He's the pinch hitter we brought to take out left arm Kameda with his bullet hit with his bullet fastball. The one who had had one no hit no run game after another during the regional qualifiers, the undefeated demon pitcher of Oshima. The super high school level pitcher Oh my god god, god damn it. Stop it. No, no the crossovers, no. It's in the same universe. No, it's Leon's father. No. Oh, god damn it. The ultimate high school baseball player that had already been marked by professional scouts. He's going to win against him? Some greenhorn pitcher like that is no match for Keiichi. He'll send his throws all the way to the back screen for an easy victory. Murmur, murmur. There was a slugger like that in this prefecture? I had no idea. He must have gone under the radar. Hey! From Hanshin, stand up. Stood up. Hey! Take a picture. His full name is Keiichi Mayabara. Look him up in the date space and, see it and send his history to our office. God damn it. Which one is Keiichi Mayabara? Pictures, pictures. A lot of sports journalists led by Satoko grip their cameras tightly and search for the rumored Keiji Mayabara. The fuck? As for me, I was so dazed at what was happening that I was frozen in place with my golf club up in the air. You're a dumbass. Keiji, Keiji, over here! Huh? The camera people stared at me through their viewfinders and just like I had, they turned to stone. In the hands of the ga their gallant pitcher hit her, Pinch hitter, Keiichi Mayabara was a golf club. Nobody could seem to understand why I was holding something like this. And at this point, neither did I. Cheep, 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 cheep. A cold, greasy sweat dripped down from me. The first one to break the inordinate, awkward silence was Rena. Um, Keiichi? Yeah? May we ask you a question? Please, please don't. Psychic ways of my in in oh god damn it, entity flowed out from my face along with my sweat. It somehow seemed to reach the two of them. The deathly quiet reporters all reported as Moses once parted the sea, all parted. But Moses probably didn't go through the parted seas this quietly. If you were playing baseball, and tell me that from the start! What? Did I not say that? I mean, I told you to come to the campus with a baseball bat. What else could he have thought it was? And what manner of thinking caused you to mistakenly bring a golf club here instead? 
Um, I think, I think Keiichi must have done it on purpose to lighten our moods and get us pumped, I think. I think. Rina smiled bitterly and covered, and covered for her with all her might. And covered for me, sorry. Please believe her, everyone. I'm begging you. Keiji loves golf. Pet, pet. Rika started pet patting my head, a broad grin on her face all the while. Thank you, Rika. I appreciate it. I pushed her hand away and grabbed her from behind, from behind my by the her suspenders and picked her up like a kitten. Aww. Me, Rika. Why didn't you tell me it was a baseball game when we left at the station? I wouldn't have had to suffer such a disgrace. Meepa! Rika's smile was like the sun, so incredibly innocent. Oh my god. Ugh, oh, she's glowing. When I saw Rika's radiant smile, I couldn't help but I feel like I could forgive anything she did. However, if Rika thought I actually would, then she had another thing coming. Anyway, this is your punishment, Rena. Me? Rika still plucked up in her hand. Plucked up in my hand, offered her to Rena. I offered her to Rena. That's right. The kitten I followed Rika sent Rena's voltage into overcharge. Oh, I'll take her, I'll take her. Rena will take her. Oh, so cute. Oh, whatever. Rena stuck out her tongue like a chameleon and preyed upon Rika while spinning her around. Poor Rika. Rika's so cute. Rika's so cute. Oh, meep, meep. Rena held her tightly as a vice and began to get her fill of rubbing her cheek into Rika's. Their cheeks rubbed together tightly. Rika's face. It looked like it was being crushed by Rena's. Oh. I did not know what has happened, but it looks like Re Rika has gotten her just desserts. Yeah. I recently found out that Rika isn't only cute. How? Oh, I got Keiichi's permission. I'm gonna take you home. Me, me. Meep! For the moment, I just gave her a three-minute timeout. By the way, Satoko, that urgent call was for a baseball game. Yes, that's correct. He said you had a house party with your family. I suppose I was wrong to ask, but in times of trouble like these, you obviously must praetor... praetor... Good God, why had I trouble with prioritize friends over family? Good God. I feel like that's what I was supposed to be saying, not you. Well, it was just a business party for my dad, I guess. I honestly felt glad to be called out here. So what's the crisis situation like? Six to seven, which means our team is losing, huh? Oh, that was the, oh, it's just six to seven, calm down. You can still easily win, hmm? Two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Oh, fuck. Never mind. What the hell? This game's all, uh, almost about to end. We would have had a little more time if you'd gotten here sooner. Do you have any idea how difficult it was for us to hold out for this long? Alright, alright. I'm sorry. You can stall. There's easy ways to stall. Fake an injury. You know, running to a base. Like, just lift up your leg really sharply. Grab it. Right as you hit the bat. Like, the bag, of course. And just, like, hold it for a while. Wait for people to look you over and see if you're okay. Kind of slowly limp off the field as someone takes your spot as a runner, designated runner. That's how you kill some time. Or call a timeout. Just keep calling timeouts at one after another and saying, We're waiting for KG to get here. Alright, alright, I'm sorry, okay, so what am I doing? Am I gonna be the pinch hitter? Just leave it to me. I may not look like it. I went to the batting cages a lot before I moved here. My dad went there for fun, and I used to go with him pretty often. I'm pretty confident about just hitting the bat with the ball, but... I need a bat. Room. 
A tremendous sound rang out, the likes of which I'd never heard before. The catcher's mitt trembled, sending up a light cloud of dust, telling me the tremendous sound had come from the ball. Oh shit! I mean, I've played baseball before, I haven't had it that bad. Where someone literally, it sounds like a fucking car. God. Hey, now wait a second. What's up with that crazy fastball anyway? Surprised? Yeah. That's a bona fide coaching level pitcher. Don't you know about left arm Kameda? The ace of Oshima? I mean, not Kameda? Yeah, that has to be Kameda. I mean, what else could it be? I don't know. It looks like Kameda. Though he doesn't have a sprite, so it doesn't matter. Sorry, can't say I do. Wait, Mion? What happened to you? Mion showed up, and to my, to my surprise, she was wrapped up in bandages. No! Or I'll kill you. Just what on earth happened? Well, you came late, so I guess we need to explain from the beginning. Um, done with Rika? Yep. I had a lot of fun, and she's so cute. She is so soft and fluffy and squishy. How I could just eat her cheeks three meals a day. That's a little fucked. If I can't get married anymore. What? Oh, I wonder how Rika's cheeks taste if you could eat them three times a day. G disgusting. Stop it. Stop it. The fuck's wrong with you? I almost flipped my own delusional switch, but I put a stop to it using logic. The fuck's wrong with you? I was an adult. Yes, and she's a child. Okay, explain away. How did things get screwed up enough that a coaching relief pitcher ended up in a baseball game for fun? Everyone exchanged glances. Then Rena spoke for all of them. Um, well, at first, well, it was just a normal baseball game. It's nothing much. Just like a little grudge match between the Hinamizawa Fighters and the Okina Okinamiya Titans. We were just having a grand old time. Really nothing much. God, God damn it, Mion. What the hell did you do? You did something, and I won't be mad at you. Well, in simpler terms, it was an inter intramural... Uh, God damn it. Intramural match. A match that settled the grudge between Hinamizawa and Okinamiya. We say grudge, but it's all pretty peaceful and friendly. So why is our little club a part of it? Some of you are wearing uniforms and some aren't. Last I checked, you weren't the school baseball team. <laughs> that is well, it was pretty irresponsible. They happened to have some players who couldn't make it today. They were pretty down in the dump, so we ended up getting involved post haste. God damn it, Mion, what do you do to them? You fucking get. <laughs> you probably beat the shit out of them. I see. So if there wasn't enough members, anyone could have come to the rescue, whether boy or girl, and no matter what grade they were in. The jumbled together feeling was the hallmark of our school. Marika told me we were crushing them at the beginning. To me, it's an amazing batter. She is hitting home runs left and right. Of course she is, because she is perfect. Mion probably stuck out her chest. Doing so seemed to hurt her somehow, and she groaned pathetically. Oh, I'll give her a little hug. I would give her a hug. It's okay. You did your best. Now it's my turn to win. And you know, first pitch, I would crank out a home run. Boom! Get the fuck out of here. But Keiichi's gonna fuck it up and strike out. Yes. Every time Mion went up to bat, she hit a home run and brought everyone to, on the bases in. Unlike Satoko, she can actually hit the ball. Wow. Brutal. Rika, me... Alright, I think I got the gist of it. So you were having a pretty easy time until that Koshin pitcher, pitcher showed up. That's right. It was all us at the beginning. Maybe we didn't get all the many points, but we were always getting people on the bases. And Kameda from Hoshima just happened to show up to watch the game today. Oshima was apparently a fairly well-known school in our prefecture that fre frequently spent people to Koshin. I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. Probably not. 
and this man known as the ace of their baseball team, Kameda, seemed to be quite skilled. Now that I thought about it, it was certainly strange to see cameramen with journalist armbands here to watch a casual baseball game out in the sticks like this. I heard that when Kameda was little, he was uh, on the Okinomiya Titans. He figured it out, right? His old team was losing, so that's why he jumped in as a relief pitcher and took them out. Now it's just terrible. We can't even hit any foul balls, much less get anyone on base. But still, a coaching pitcher barging in, it's unfair, we were just playing for fun. All the boys wearing the Hinomizawa Fighters uniform were hanging their heads in disappointment. It's not over yet! We still got it out to spare. We got this. See how and rally the people, get everyone pumped up, fired up. All that stuff. It isn't everyone here a classmate? Oh, I see. We're the only school in Hinomizawa, after all. Oh, it's Tamita and Okamura. You were on the baseball team, too? Mayapara! <laughs> His uniform was brand new and not very dirty, fresh off the presses. I could see handmade banners with their names written on them in the grandstands. I see, their family came to root for them in their debut game today. Okamura said he just got his bat today as a present from his dad. The brand new bat sparkled. With that kind of a present, a man just has to perform well. He practiced swinging a lot just for today. Tomita, well, he went too far and he tore the skin off his hand. See, unfortunately. I thought she was going to say, like, tore an ACL, and I was like, oh god. Oh, you know, just fucked up his rotator cuff swinging. He's a fucking idiot. His torn hand looked like it hurt, but from the entry you could sense his backbone. Fuck it, wrap it up, still go, fuck it, why not? How bad could it really be? I get it, guys. You wanted to make your big moment a good one. Boom! The savior of the Okinomiya Titans. We could hear the sounds of this Kameda's tremendous fastball practice. This was no joke. He was definitely on a level far above high school kids. But at his level, he sh certainly shouldn't have been interrupting a, a grass lot game. Grudge match, though it may have been. He should have understood how much better he was, too. That's why you gotta beat the shit out of this guy. Like, whether you win or lose, you just take a fucking bat right to his kneecap and say, Fuck you! Or right to his, like, elbow? Fuck him. Or hand? Like, pitching hand or elbow? Fuck him. I don't give a shit. This guy. Was he being serious against opponent like these? opponents like these? Yep. Brennan thinks it's immature. Yeah, it's fucking douchebag level. I mean, come on, dude. Get over yourself. Rena's eyes grew harsh. It took a lot to get Rena mad. As for Tomita and Okamura, they were sniffling, fighting back tears. We heard another tremendous noise from the Met. I turned around and this left arm Kameda was already looking at us, grinning bodily. Anyway, that's how it is. Now that's come to this, we have no choice. We have to engage in real battle. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck this day up. Looks like we have to get serious. Thank god I brought my god mode with me. My god powers. Yep, and then we tried getting serious, but then me, me went out with a bang. Mion embarrassingly scratched her head, then a moment later doubled over in pain. No! You did not hurt her! Went out with a bang, but how on earth did she end up getting injured like this? I swear to god if he hit her. It would take a really long time to explain. The only one thing I can say that is she came up empty even though she pushed herself that hard. Huh? I risked my life and I couldn't even get one point. Our secret plan did nothing and we're very sad. I couldn't even imagine what sort of secret plan it was, but it must have been crazy enough to get her that badly hurt. I will fucking end his day. Still though. We're still playing baseball thanks to you failing, right? <laughs> yep. Maybe me last resort me's last resort wasn't very baseball like, I think. I think. We have no other recourse now recourse now, do we? It means that we need to settle the score front and center in a manner befitting of a baseball game. 
I will fucking end his life. Every last baseball player on the other team, I will end their lives or their careers. Whichever one will make them suffer more. That's right. We have to settle it like baseball. <laughs> I think normal people would have given up and gone for a frontal attack. But as a member of a club, I wasn't about to accept that so easily. Like baseball, I don't know. If we look at it like a baseball game then, we can't be picky, can we? <laughs> mm, it's our club's creed after all. That's correct. We can't be picky, that's the virtue of our club. Ho ho ho! Ren and Zatko laughed at each other delightfully. It wasn't really a virtue we could brag about, but the best thing about our club was that we never rolled over and gave up. Never give in. But the cameras are all watching very closely, so it'll be hard to cheat. Rika spread her arms wide, indicating the array of reporters in the bleacher bleachers. She was right. With all those cameramen watching us through those cameras with giant telephoto lenses. Foul play would be very, fairly tough. Hey, you never know. Let's just say someone in the woods took a rifle, you know, a 308 rifle, right into the back of his knee. I mean, who would say they found the culprit who did it? I don't know. Not my problem. That's right. That's the bo the bottleneck. Everyone's eyes are on us. We can't be bo too bold. Ow. No. I will never. I never did think M Mii's ways were very ladylike, though. Satoko and Rika both nodded behind Rena. I don't care. Then let's get down to business. Our team is down one run right now. Plus, it's the bottom of the ninth, and we already have two outs. If this old man's gonna plan had gone better, we'd have our bases loaded right now. There's no point lamenting a failed plan. Our club never loses heart and always goes on to the next one. Satoko said eagerly, trying to cheer up the downcast me on whose secret plan had failed. It may have failed, but Satoko still seemed to have another. Satoko, you seem pretty cheerful. Which means you've gotten something up your sleeve, eh? Keiji. Who do you think she is? It's Satoko, you know. Satoko Hojo. That was right. We called her Trap Master Satoko, didn't we? She would uh, ensnare her opponent at the perfect moment, the very end. Everyone in our club knew that we could never even ever let our guards down against Satoko. I may have taught her, but she's grown a lot and doesn't seem to want to stop. Sometimes even I'm astonished at how she overcomes such slim margins. By the way, me bats next, then Satoko. We are losing by one point, so if we could get the run next runner on a base, then the runner after that can hit a big one and end the match. And that final batter was Satoko? No, you're gonna be a pinch hitter for her. You're going in instead of her. Uh, 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 see? You feel like we can win now, right? I can't imagine what she's got up or got set up, but it's got to be some kind of trap for sure. If I were the opposing pitcher, I'd definitely walk her. There's no way Satoko is going to hit a home run, even in my dreams. But if she was going to stand in the batter's box normally, without any kind of plan, I can't think of anyone else she could do. Anything else she could do. And the fact that you called me here, I see. I think I know where this is going. It meant that I was a necessary piece of Satoko's trap. I'm excited. I wonder what Satoko will do. Will do. I can't wait to see Satoko's walk-off home run either. Yeah, okay. Keichan is indispensable for this. Understand? This is our last chance at creating an upset. We absolutely cannot fail. Right. That much I know for sure. Just watch. Satoko and I will go give you all front row seats to the greatest turnaround victory of all time. That's not true. I've seen a lot of fucking sports. This isn't going to be the greatest turnaround of all time. There's way too many sports and in any kind of underdog scenario where that just doesn't work. <laughs> 